met you. Yes, sir. I hope you're having a good day. And old Rusty Zipper will just get out of your way. Hey, Rusty Zipper, you better be a good boy to hide. Rusty Zipper, you better be a good boy to hide. Rusty Zipper, you better be a good boy to hide. Rusty Zipper, you better be a good boy to hide. Rusty Zipper, you better be a good boy to hide. Check, check, we'll be waving right back. I swear this mobile turns into a flat side when I get up to speed. <laughs> that antenna leans over. I, I, I swear it turns into a flat side mobile.
That radio is working over here in Oregon. The whiskey runner said that's here. Kind of muffled, Mike. Uh, I don't hear any buzz in there, but uh, not much in the audio end either.
Hey, Dan? Dan, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now, Dan? Hey, oh. oh. Dan, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? No. I just told you. Never sounded better. Now leave it alone. I told my Washington radio in here. It's like overkill on this thing. It, it's doing all right, though. But it, it showed me everything was perfect on the transmit. Everything's cool. All right. Well, good. I knew if I went to the file cabinet, I'd find something. I got a couple of repairs to make on the other radios. I just got to research them to see where the parts are at for them. 
Station 66, can you hear me up there?
Well, obviously we didn't. The plastic shit's still on it. But, uh, it's a real little, I don't know if you've seen one of them. They're, they're like the newer version or whatever. They're real, real small. But I like the damn thing, man. It hears pretty good. That was pretty good. You know what that means? You're talking on a virgin. Right, right, yeah. It's unmolested for sure. I know it is. But, uh, yeah, no, it's just stock mic. And, you know, it's stock as they come, but I like it. I could I could put my turner on it, you know, and probably it might hit it a little bit harder or whatever, but they all just talking local or whatever. It don't matter to me. That's the reason I raised my antenna up. shut the gate off. Roger. Four hours and 20. You probably didn't hear me. It was, it was very busy out there. Four hours and 26 minutes. mechanic, you know how I feel? <laughs> Tell me. With my fingers. Uh, never with your feet or uh, your lips or no, nothing else, just 
Your fingers? Well, right now, just my fingers. what he's alluding to uh, there, Bandit, is I got an amplifier over here you can have, but uh, I want to make sure your SWRs are right and everything before we hook it up. It is, do I have to pay you for it? Nah, it's a really good price, man. It's uh, free. When or when can you bring it over? Yeah, like I said, I want to make sure your SWRs are right on your radio before we we mess with it. Well, well that's what I mean. Uh, when do you want to come over to do it or check it out or how, how do you do it? Yeah, probably when it gets warm out so we can move your antenna higher, set your SWRs, and then hook up a little amplifier over there. Do it all at once, so probably this spring sometime. Okay, that's fine. I'm at the home 20, y'all. I'll, uh, I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. All right, man, get better. Thank you, thank you. Happy New Year. Right back to you. I got, let's see, 15 more seconds, and I shut this thing down. That's right. One on the fifty five Jimmy.